layout of a proof, square with four equal sides proof. All right, like I always do, I'm going to take a step back so you can see the whole board. Let's get it in focus here. And we've got our drawing that we need above the proof table. We've got our given, the thing we're trying to prove, and our statements, and oops, I forgot to write reasons up there. I will. So let's look at our square and our given. It says that the given is that EFGH is a rectangle. Yeah, squares can be rectangles. And it says that EH here is congruent to EF. And we need to prove that EH, EF, FG, and HG, all these lines, are congruent to each other. Okay? Let's get this in here. All right. So, our first statement is that EFGH is a rectangle, and that's given. And that EH is congruent to EF, and that's given. Okay? We can now say, because EH and EF are congruent, that EH and FG are congruent. Okay? Why? Because opposite sides of a rectangle are congruent. You can watch video number 129 and that'll talk about that more. So now we've got these opposite sides are congruent. We can say, okay, now we got that guy congruent, right? Now we can see that EF is congruent to HG. Why? Same reason. Opposite sides are congruent. Look at that. This was kind of easy, wasn't it? This was an easy proof. So, because opposite sides are congruent, we can say now all the sides are congruent, and our reasoning is the substitution property, which, if you don't know what that is, you can look at video number 30, but you could substitute the parts of one for another, is basically what it says. So that was a very simple proof for uh, squares for four equal sides. My next video is going to be a rhombus with right angles is a square proof. I hope to see you there.